Getting started with the iTrack One Pre. The iTrack One Pre is an audio interface for your iPad or iPhone. In this video, we'll show you how to set up and record with the One Pre. Box contents. Upon opening the box, you will find the following. The iTrack One Pre itself, a micro USB to lightning cable, which will be used to connect the One Pre to your iOS device. A micro USB to USB cable, allowing you to connect the One Pre to your USB charger. This is only needed when connecting certain condenser microphones. The Getting Started booklet. And finally, a handy carry pouch. Connection. Using the USB to lightning cable, you can connect one end to the One Pre and the other to your iPad. Note, the One Pre won't turn on until you open a recording app. Hardware features. There is a combi input allowing a guitar or instrument connection via a quarter inch jack cable or a microphone via an XLR cable. If connecting a condenser microphone, you'll need to enable phantom power like so. If the phantom power LED turns red, the microphone requires more power. You'll need to connect the other USB cable to your USB charger like so. Finally, the One Pre features a micro suction base that allows you to stick it to a surface so that the One Pre doesn't move around while recording. Recording. To ensure your recording app is set to input audio from the iTrack One Pre, go to Settings, Apps, Microphone, Microphone Enabled. To record in GarageBand, open the app. Create a new song by pressing My Songs, plus, create new song. Scroll to Amp if recording a guitar, or Audio Recorder if recording a mic. Select Turn On Monitoring. This can be done manually by clicking on the jack icon and switching on Monitor. Check your input level. When the gain halo lights up green, this indicates a good signal level. You can now record by clicking the record icon. To view the main arrangement page, click here. The iTrack One Pre.